What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated the Winstrate family. Yeah, they were tough cookies. They made two of my Pokemon faint, and I'm not too happy about that. Yeah, I probably should have kept Yokozuna. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, I don't know. But anywho, we're going to be going straight up here at Route 111 to 112, and we're going to be going straight to Mount Chimney because we got a lot of stuff to cover. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. And, uh, well, you're going to need a Pokemon that knows Rock Smash. The only way you can get through here is by defeating the Gym Leader at Mauville City, because, yeah, that will enable your Rock Smash and all that crud. Uh, yeah, we already did that. I'm taking care of business right here, getting the heck out of here, because I do not want to battle any of these Pokemon. Uh... One thing that you guys should know, Rock Smash, if you break these rocks, you probably will find some Pokemon, some rare Pokemon at, at some point. And, uh, well, we're going to be continuing our adventure right here, talking to this guy. If you don't raise your Pokemon some more, or if you don't raise your Pokemon some more, it may, t may be tough to keep winning through the ranks. I've heard the Pokemon League uh, League's Elite Four are as far as any gym leader. That is true, but they're not tr they're not as strong as me. And you guys already know who this guy is, and this guy, and that guy. So I'm gonna be switching out my Pokemon right here. Let's see. Um, okay, so I may have the right Pokemon for this. I'm gonna be switching out Sage and Hydra right here. Two of my strongest Pokemon so far. Eventually, you guys will see me uh, switching out my Pokemon here and there. Oh, we've just spotted a tough-looking trainer. Here of all places. Okay, roll the camera. Let's get this interview. Alrighty, so here we go. We're going in for another Pokemon battle, and it's against interviewers Gabby and Ty, and they will be coming out with Magnemite and Whisper. Now, I've played this game plenty of friggin' times. And, uh, yeah, I already know what kind of Pokemon they're going to be coming out with and all that crud. Uh, remember... You can battle them every single time. They're just like a, a circle. You just keep on battling them every single time uh, throughout the different routes and all that stuff. And they will get you powerful, and they will be powerful themselves, which is also good, too. So let's go right ahead and just destroy them with a little bit of Leaf Blade and a little bit of, uh, well, Dragon Rage should work on this guy right here. Now, I'm going to keep on saying this every single time, guys. I know it's starting to get a little annoying, but do excuse the lagginess of this whole... Uh, well, they're, they're, they're recording and all that stuff. Sometimes, you know, homebrew can, gets a perfect signal. Sometimes it doesn't. You know, video is a video, guys. And as you can see right here, we're getting our butts kicked right now with uh, this uh, Magnemite. Again, I probably should have chosen a Fire-type Pokemon. I don't know. I wish you guys should have chosen. No, actually, I didn't, I didn't give you guys that selection, huh? <laughs> no, that's all on me. Why did I choose a uh, uh, Trico again? Well, I've never used it in any walkthroughs. The Hoenn region. I mean, when I was driving XC711, never used it. Yeah. So, this is the first time, and, well, it, it seems appropriate right here for Pokemon Omega Ruby. And, uh, well, look at that. We defeated them. We're feeling good. Maya's did not deceive me. Amazing trainer spotted. We found an amazing trainer. This is a massive scoop. And uh, we get a lot of points. Well, we got a lot of uh, HP for that. Or not a lot of money for that one. Awesome, awesome. Who are you? I knew we were going into uh, something wild when we spotted you. Oh, please, let me explain. We travel around everywhere, interviewing all sorts of trainers. Care to give us a bit of your time and for an interview? Yes, sir, Bob. You will thank you. Okay, I need to. I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. Go. Well, I know. I know. Now. I've tried this before plenty of friggin' times. You can't put any cuss words on this. They've made sure that any cuss words right here, yeah, or anything derogatory won't work. Uh, I wonder if I can say I did it for the bitches. Hold on. I did it. Hold on. Delete, delete. I did it. Or, nope. You can't put it. So, I normally put this just because... And this comes from, uh, this is a line coming from the, the, the show, The League. I'm gonna put this. Gattaca. I know it's a movie, but it's also a saying in the, in the, the show, The League, where they're yelling out their, their victories and stuff. So I'm gonna put Gattaca. Hmm, yeah, that's a perfect clincher. I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. There's a chance that you'll, uh, that they'll air this on Buzz in the, or BuzzNav. So make sure to look out for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you. 
Okay, so that is pretty much it for that. Now we're going to continue on, and I forgot that we're going to battle this girl right here, so... Yeah. Now remember, guys, we're going to be battling a lot of trainers. Lots and lots of trainers going into Full Arbor Town, so get used to the whole, you know, next episode here, this episode right here. We're going to be doing them in parts, since this is Pokemon Omega Ruby, and, uh, well, COVID-19 right here made sure that I record a buttload of videos. A buttload. Believe it or not, guys, guess how many episodes I've uh, recorded. I'll give you a hint. It's 50. <laughs> I did 50 for Pokemon Platinum. Or no, Pokemon Black. I did uh, 50 for Pokemon Liquid Crystal. Yeah, I'm stocking up, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be... It's gonna be an awesome one right there. It's gonna be an awesome uh, amount of videos right here. Now, I did say that I wanted to make 2020 the best year ever for walkthroughs. Uh, well... The... Yeah, yeah, the coronavirus... The coronavirus is making sure that that happens because, you know, I might just complete these walkthroughs right before our 10th year anniversary. So, that right there is just like, you know, it's, 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 well, it's not much of like a good thing. It's a bittersweet kind of thing. It really is because normally I wouldn't be doing this a lot. I would like, my main thing is that I, well, when I restarted my whole channel and revamped it in CRUD, my biggest thing was don't do more than one Pokemon walkthrough because I won't have the time. But now that I have a lot of time and I'm not a, not an essential worker, yeah, I think it, uh, I, I think doing multiple walkthroughs is not such a bad idea right now. I mean, 50 episodes and three walkthroughs. We're almost done with those walkthroughs right there, so yeah. So you you guys you you guys will be surprised. All right, so let's move on right here, and we got another trainer waiting for us. So let's go right ahead and uh, switch out to Gaia because it needs its revenge. Okay, alrighty. Let's go right here. I'm full of pep, and my Pokemon are Peppy, or is Peppy too? Oh, well, need to read them nice and smoothly, you know. Okay, so here we go. Camper Travis wants the battle, and he is coming out with a Sandshrew. You're going to be beaten, Sandshrew. Go, and here we go, Gaia, number one. All right, that Sand Veil is uh, on its way right there. So let's go with a Magical Leaf right here and uh, take care of business. Here we go, Magical Leaf, go. And that takes care of that. Say goodbye to Sandshrew. Sandshrew got his butt kicked, and uh, there you go. There you go, okay. So, let's see. Now, important thing about this, if you go straight forward right over here, you guys will be able to find the, well, the Tenobi Desert. It's not called the Tenobi Desert. It's just you're going to find a desert, but you won't be going anywhere near, like, past this, past the sand, because the sandstorm is just killer. It's just a killer one. So, we're going to have to be moving on forward right here to Route 112, and I almost burped. i got to stop eating before I come over here now. Hello, hello. How you doing there, baby? Ah! Draven! Look! Right up there, that's Mount Chimney! Look at that. That's a beautiful sight right there. That is a beautiful sight. It's sure big! No more like a, no more like huge. It's totally... It totally takes my breath away. I'd love to take the cable car all the way up to the top someday. Hmm. Hey, Draven, don't... Uh, don't your Pokemon seem a bit ragged around the, the edges? Here, let me give him a little boost. And she heals up our Pokemon. You see, get yourself a girl who will heal your Pokemon without asking you. She'll just notice. Here, take this too. And uh, not only that, that gives you an HM just to move around this place. Thank you, baby. Look at that. Look at that. It gives us the HM04 strength. I bet you can use, uh, you can find all the or all kinds of things to use in the mountains that lie ahead. But it won't work outside uh, of battle if you don't have the badge from the Lava Ridge Gym. Gasp! What am I doing, nattering away here? I'm supposed to be on my way to Falaber to visit Professor Cosmo. I'm off for now, Draven. But let's battle next time. Whatever you say, baby girl. Whatever you say. Okay, so, we're going to be moving forward right here, and, uh, well, there are some pretty, there are some pretty good Pokemon right here that you can find, like, uh, Machop, uh, Numel you can actually find right here. 
And, uh, well, here we go. I'm strong. I won't cry if I lose. Uh, well, we'll see about that. We shall see about that. And here we go. Camper Larry wants the battle, and he will be coming out with a Talo. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. And, uh, well, there we go with a, a nice trace attack right there. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and just destroy this guy right here with a confusion attack right here. Mm-hmm. And, uh, bam. Fainted. So, guy is getting a little stronger. That's right. And uh, Zigzags grows to level 20, which you guys already know, it will evolve. And uh, I'm just going to keep it right here with uh, Gaia the Fierce Knight. So we're going to go with another Confusion Attack to destroy this Zubat right here. There we go. And Zubat has been defeated. Oh, yes! Now I just remembered. Yeah, another Pokemon we took out from our team is uh, Toxie Batman, because it also served its purpose right here, too. Later along this episode, we will be, or later, later along this uh, this adventure right here, we will be finding new Pokemon that we can be using, you know, that I want to use and all that crud. So here we go, guys, another evolution of our HM Slave. Normally this never happens in, like, Pokemon Emerald or Ruby or anything like that, but... Seems a little appropriate since, you know, this guy has not been, he's been mooching off our, our experience points. So as you can see, bam, Laboom, Lenoon, I should say. Should probably call it Le Boom now. Okay, so let's move on right here. And uh, let's take care of another business right here. Uh, she is looking for a battle. So we're gonna be going uh, let's see if let's see if Raiden can actually do his part right here. So let's take care of business right now. Oh wait, she she just didn't see us. She looks. When you're out on a picnic, why you simply have to sing? Come on, sing with me! Nah, eh, well. Here we go. Going up against Picnicker Carol, and she will be coming out with her Gulpin. I may have chosen correctly right there. Crud. Aw, oh, damn. So here we go, Raiden. Come on, Raiden. And uh, well, let's see, Thunderfang. Let's take this, uh, let's take, let's kick this up the notch right here. Look at that. Thunderfang nearly takes this guy's head off. Or what head off? It looks like a stomach. It is a stomach, right? And its special defense has risen, so... We, we can't do nothing about that, so we're going to have to switch to Guy of the Fierce Knight right here. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and just switch this thing out right here. And, uh, alright, Gaia, do your thing, do your trace, liquid ooze, trace the opponent, the amnesia, and, well, more amnesia right there. Ah, oh, damn, I hate you. Okay, so here we go again. Let's go with the confusion right now, and, uh, confusion... Take it away. There we go. And uh, that was super effective, but it does not faint and crud. We're poisoned. I did forget, the guy is also weak against poison type Pokemon since it's now a fairy type. So here we go, confusion attack. Let's get it. And uh, that's how you take care of business right there, guys. That is how you take care of business. And uh, it grows to level 24. Easy, easy, easy. And, uh, well, everybody's getting points, and Carol has been defeated. Yeah, buddy! Alright, alright, okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh... Let's see, we gotta, we gotta get a... Oh, no, not there. Antidote. Always stock up on antidotes, guys, because, uh, you, you will get poisoned quite a few. Okay. So, getting out of there. And, again, lagginess. Sorry. Uh... Doing the best to battle right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, well, switch out our Pokemon right here. Now this would be good for Sage right here, and we'll have Hydra just uh, just in case for this whole battle right now. So we're gonna be battling this guy, and he's gonna be looking. <laughs> How about we have a battle, you and me? Ha 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 ha. Okay, all right, whatever you say, Sunshine. You are challenged by Hiker Bryce, and he will be coming out with a Numo. I'm looking at this Numo right here, and I'm, I'm kind of getting interested in getting one. Because it has both ground and fire capabilities. Pretty good Pokemon right there. And, uh, well, it is not going to work for me right here. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to our good buddy, Hydra number 2. And uh, Hydra number 2 right here. Looking all spectacular with its shininess and all that stuff. It's intimidating. All that crud. And here comes that in 
Magnitude 10. Wow, it was going to go for a magnitude 10, and uh, it didn't work. It really didn't work, guys. And uh, there we go. And here comes that amber attack that we don't like. Okay, so let's get this. Rage attack. Dragon rage. And uh, that takes care of Numel. It is lying down like a puppy. There we go. And everybody's getting experience points. And here he's going to be coming out with a Machop. So now this is going to be a good challenge for Gaia the Fierce Knight. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Gaia the Fierce Knight versus the Machop. Alrighty. Let's go. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Okay, so let's go with... Oh, wait. Why did I use... Oh, good God. Maybe I just wanted to extend the battle just a little bit. And uh, here comes that Karate Chop. Not so effective. For some reason, Fairy types are stronger than uh, than Fighting types as well. So, I don't know about that. But there you go, Machop. Take that. Feel that. Eliminated. That's right. That's right. And uh, Hiker Bryce, defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. All right, so let's move on forward right here. We got one more challenger, and I'm hoping he doesn't have, like, a, a Numel or something. So let's go ahead and battle this guy. My legs are solid from the pounding up the and down the, stair, or the mountains. They're not going to buckle easily, friend. Okay, whatever you say, homeboy. Whatever you say. So there we go. We're being challenged by Hiker Trent, and he will be coming out with the Geodude. Easy. Easy money right here. So here we go. Sage of the Halo. Let's get this. All righty. There we go. There we go. And that, that right there is a little, a little quicker than uh, than usual. Fainted. And uh, let's see. So here we go. Trent is about to come out with a Geo dude. So let's just continue on right here. And uh, take care of business with uh, Sage of the Halo right here with Leaf, Leaf Blade right now. And boom, boom, boom. There we go, but this guy has sturdy, so it, uh, <laughs> not cool at all, but here we go with the rock, uh, a rock throw right here, so let's go ahead and uh, do this whole leaf blade again, here we go, one, two, and three, and that's how you take care of business, yes sir, no more rock, or no more uh, Geodude right there, and, uh, well, another Geodude, ah, oh, crud, how many Pokemon does this guy have? Probably Geodude again, so here we go. Taking care of business again. Bam. And that's how you take care of another Geodude who doesn't have the sturdy effect. And, well, please no more Geodude. And yes, that's how we do it. We defeated Trent and his legs cramped up, which is hilarious right there. <laughs> okay, so we got 544 Poke Dollars for winning. That's cool. That's awesome. Alrighty. So, that is the end of that. We're going to be going into Mount Chimney right here now. There are quite a few Pokemon that you can find in here, like Machop, Camera or not Camera Up, but Numel, Torkoal, if you guys remember. We caught a we caught a Torkoal back in Pokemon Emerald and called him, I think, Raphael, I think. Yeah. Raphael. And uh, yeah, you can actually find Grimer here too. So if you guys want a Grimer, it's also good right there too. So we're gonna be escaping this guy and just going straight forward for this area right here because we got lots of stuff to do. Bitches to see, you know. Sights to see and all that crud. And bam, here we are in Route 12. So we're going to stop our, our video right here, guys. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to be taking care of other businesses, like, you know, maybe capturing a new Pokemon here and there. Surprises, fun stuff, and all that crud. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>